Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is my latest video. This is a fun little video, another foam board project. But this one's a little bit different than my usual ones. I actually automated it. It is the Skyhook from Bioshock. All right. That's all foam board, except for maybe this little thing. It's not foam board, but, you know, fun little project. A lot of fun, animated. Okay. <laughs> so I got a little motor on it. See that? That I got out of a little, a little car, a little car. Kind of fun. Um, you know, I did another Bioshock project, the Big Daddy drill. Let's take a look at that. And I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. That was an automated project too. So I figured I'd do another one and do the Bioshock, another automated project. Uh, I'm not going to do a template on this one. It's kind of complicated. There's a lot to it. But if you make one, you know, send me a picture. I'll put it on my website along with this. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. You know, because I always have lots of fun stuff coming. And I got lots of video. I actually have three more projects done. I just have to do the videos. So we got a bunch coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, let's launch into the little intro. And then we'll, we'll go into how to make the uh, Skyhook from Bioshock. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Well, the first thing I did was cut out a, I drew out a bunch of the pieces on foam board, just like this. And it took me a while. I had to do a bunch of different sketches, and I looked at a picture of the sky hook so I could get a good sense for it. That's the rotating device there. And these are the little claws that go on there. Some of it I even made in paper just so I could practice and try to get the shape of it. See, like that. Once I had the sizes right so it all fit well, then I traced that onto the foam board. And you can use cardboard for something like this. That little claws are interesting how they have a little assembly like that. So it gives it that claw look, like a sky hook look. You know, fun project. It's kind of complicated. That's why I don't want to do a, a, a template for it. But if you do something like this, um, you know, send me pictures. And I made a bunch of different layers, and I had to do it a couple of times, trying different sizes and layers and handle parts and different things so I could get it to look pretty good. And I love that gear on there. And then I um, just uh, glued it all together with hot glue. Now the handle part, like the strapping, the metal strapping that goes for the wrist, I didn't think it was going to work at foam board, but it actually does work pretty well with foam board. So I just drew those out and then cut them. And to drill the knuckles for the brass, it's kind of like brass knuckles, I just drilled them out with a drill. I uh, see the assembly is going really nice. It's actually two assemblies. And let me show you a little bit about the little motor I got out of a car. See it? That goes right through there. And it works on like 5 volts. And I glued it to the back there, but the, the, the shaft still rotates cleanly. And then I glued that to the shaft, and then that way it rotates. I love doing that kind of thing, adding little motors of lights, LEDs, all kinds of stuff. Then it's just a matter of painting it, and you'd be surprised the big difference it makes in, from this white foam board to when you finally paint it. I use some gray, and I use some black, and I use some white, and just had fun with it. And that's a little thing I made. And the little centerpiece is actually the top of a bottle cap. Bottle of water. Looks really good. I'm happy with it. I was skeptical at first, and there you go. So let's crank it up and see it run a little bit. The motor's not that strong, but it's okay. It'll work. So lots more projects here on my, on my YouTube channel and on my uh, website, stormycastle.com. Uh, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. Let me show you a few more projects you might like. From to uh, Clockwise from the top left, that's the um, Big Daddy drill. And then the RPG with the camera mounted on it. Then a mace. And the lower left corner is the sword from Blade, where it has the dagger comes out of the handle. Kind of cool. Thanks.